Spethox Paul here. It's time for me to upgrade my TP4056 um, charger bank. Previously I've been powering it from this old server power supply with 5 volts. Um, but now that I've already got 5 kilowatts worth of power wall up and running, I might as well um, run this off the existing battery system. So I have bought off AliExpress, um, and I'll put a link in down below, this uh, DC to DC converter. It converts anywhere from 10 to 35 volts in, and it puts out 5 volts, 20 amps out. So I'm just going to wire this up, connect it into my battery bank, my power wall, and uh, hopefully I'll have a battery powered battery charger. This little converter cost $26 US. And there's not much inside there, so we'll see whether it actually can produce 20 amps. Um, now I've kind of broken my normal rule for cheap Chinese things when whenever they specify um, a power output uh, normally what I do is I say okay it's probably good for about half that so I should have ordered the slightly more expensive 30 amp version in the hopes that that could actually do 15 amps um, I'm hoping that this will do something somewhere around that ballpark. Um, we shall see whether or not it overheats um, and blows up. I hope not. Um, I have up here, we're just out of sight, 24 volts running from the other side of the garage. We've got a red light come on, that's encouraging. It's actually 27.4, but this will go up to 30, this will go up to 35 volts. Yeah, so I've got uh, this little 3D printed multi-splitter thing for my um, actually this is something I made last night it's just one of those little voltmeters with a push button switch to turn it off and on and it plugs I got it with Anderson power poles so I can just double check it's nice and easy to see tells you what's going on um, if I was being really fussy, I would put one of those on here and on here. That would be nice to watch. Um, but let's check the output with a multimeter. Okay. The output is... 5.044 I'm happy with that That's good Alright, so Plug that in there And that in there All the little LEDs light up Which is a bit hard to tell because of the lighting What if I turn this off? That's a wee bit better, you can kind of see the green lights. Let's throw some batteries in. Now yeah, I hope I'm doing it the right way around. Uh, I have to remember. Yes I am, yes. That's right. So why isn't it... Oh. Oh, that's more like it. Huh. Oh, that one's only 4.1 volts. That's why it's not doing anything. 
10 volts. Alright, now we're talking. 3... Oh. Alright, so... Yeah. Is it too high? Yeah. Okay, it's one hour later. Uh, I just harvested 10 laptop batteries and got a whole bunch of cells out of those and put them in and I can tell you that it is these are sucking 13 and a half 13.4 amps between the 20 TP4056s. Um, the other thing that was happening um, I just recently checked all this. Um, this was, is getting kind of warm. A little bit earlier, before I turned the camera on, it was running at 14.5 amps. And this was getting to the point where I was starting to not want to hold on to it which is usually a bad sign. So I found uh, a silly thing I made for my kids um, a while back. Um, this is a fan that I had in the junk pile and um, I'm going to use that to cool this down. So n normally this would run at 12 volts roughly in, when it's in a hairdryer, but I run it at 5 volts. Uh, I'll run it at 5 volts because I happen to have 5 volts handy and that will make it not quite so loud. So now that's running at 5 volts. Nice and quiet, not too loud and that should keep that cool. And I think this fan is about 0.3 amps. So it's adding a bit of extra load, but it's cooling it down at the same time. Otherwise, this is working okay so far. I'm going to have to rig up something better than this. What I'll probably do is get a hairdryer fan mounted on there and hardwire it maybe via a push button switch um, onto here and then that should keep it happy all right thanks for watching cheers